Robert Edwards Lifetime Achievement Award. Rob entered the concrete pumping industry in 1978, becoming a concrete pump operator for Econ Placer of Minnesota. Although he was an operator for only a short time, he considers those years vital basic training to what has become his life's work. He believes he couldn't possibly receive this award without those experiences. In 1980, he went to work for Schwing America in the sub-assembly department working on outriggers, hoppers, hydraulic tanks, and control panels. From there, he moved to the trailer pump department, assembling everything from the subframes to the finished machine. After a short time, he transitioned to the testing department and was tasked with setting the parameters of the various components of finished machines, then testing the machines for function, completeness, and quality. One day, he clumsily fell off a machine in the testing department and broke his hand. During recovery, he sat in the service department and answered customer questions, helped troubleshoot machines in the field, and updated and presented the Schwing Service School to customer service personnel. It turned out he had a knack for the work of the service department and never did go back to testing. Four years later, he was named service manager of Schwing America, managing the department budgets and expenses, the men and their travel schedules, including the wrath of their wives, and issues with the machines all simultaneously. Within a couple of years, it became clear that job was twofold and needed to be split, either men or machines. Rob chose machines and became the quality assurance coordinator. This job included research and development and the global solving of machine issues with U.S. customers and the factories in the U.S., Germany, and Brazil. By now, it was the early 90s, and product safety was taking a much more prominent position within corporate manufacturing. Rob's boss, Tom Anderson, assigned him the job of writing a safety manual. Include information about every accident we've ever had, ever heard about, ever heard our competitors having, every close call. In short, try to find out every conceivable way people could possibly get hurt doing this work and see if we can stop it before it happens. The result is now known as the ACPA Safety Manual. From there, Rob was assigned the duty of starting a product safety department at Schwing America and named manager. After three years, the publications department was added to Rob's responsibilities. In 2007, Rob left Schwing to take the position of Director of Product Safety and Development for Alliance Concrete Pumps in Vancouver, British Columbia. He handled risk assessments, all operation manuals, all product safety decisions, and all warning labels, until the recession caused him to seek other employment in 2010. Since 2010, Rob has been the manager of the concrete pumping line of business for Nations Builders Insurance Services. Rob has been active with the ACPA since 1994. He created and developed the first operator training seminar then presented the seminar with Les Ainsworth. For the next 20 years, Rob, Les, Mike Kuzak, Dan Mace, and a few others have delivered this standardized training to countless operators in the United States, Canada, and Mexico. Because of the wide acceptance of the safety manual and the operator safety seminars, Rob developed the titled DVDs, co-worker safety training, Safety training for ready mixed drivers delivering to concrete pumps, plus co wrote the scripts and acted as the technical advisor for each of the ACPA videos from 2002 through today. Rob has served on the certification, internet, equipment safety, and workforce development committees of the ACPA since 1998. Rob was presented with the ACPA's Pioneer Award in 2004. Rob conducted tests and wrote reports on the effectiveness of the proximity warning devices manufactured by Sigalarm and Made SA. He has written several articles on concrete pumping safety published in the Concrete Pumping Magazine and on ConcretePumping.com. Rob served as the chair of the ASME subcommittee that developed the American National Standard for Concrete Pumping Safety ASME B30.27 
and serves on the ASME Main Committee B30. He is a member of the CSA Z151 Committee for Concrete Pump Safety in Canada and is a member of the American Society of Concrete Contractors Safety Council. Rob writes and composes his own music and was the lead singer and bass player in a part-time band for over 40 years. Rob recently became a grandfather and lives in the St. Paul, Minnesota area with his wife, Lucinda.